Western China has reiterated its commitment to make good on pledges made last week to spur growth. This time, the focus is on boosting consumption. Although the government stopped short of providing direct fiscal support to consumers and companies to increase spending, our China's top economic planning agency released a wide-ranging plan. This includes steps to steer financial aid towards the hospitality, catering and tourism sectors. The agency also urged local governments to ease car purchase curbs and pushed for better policies on the construction of consumption-related infrastructure. Well, today's fresh stimulus follows data showing a further drag on China's post-COVID recovery. Manufacturing activity is in contraction mode for the fourth straight month. Service sector activity moderated as well. Well, let's get more on this. We have uh, Hao Hong, Chief Economist at Grow Investment Group. He joins us uh, live from Hong Kong. Welcome to the show. Now, they say that, you know, the devil is in the details and China's various statements so far are lacking just that, details. Now, add to that, there's no direct support for consumers with vouchers, for example. So what will this uh, approach actually achieve economically? Yeah, well, I think people need to be a little bit more patient. Uh, you know, this year, uh, the situation is quite complicated, you know, because uh, the external, the foreign demand for Chinese exports has been declining, right? You know, because the foreign uh, economies are slowing. So, you know, China has to rely on uh, its own domestic demand, you know, for growth this year. But then, you know, property it is still ailing. And also uh, the Chinese consumers, uh, after three years, three long years of pandemic, you know, they're trying to save hard. All right. So I think as a result, you know, we had a initial rebound uh, uh, of uh, domestic consumption in the first couple of months. And then, you know, we sort of are slowing down once again. Mm. So I think right now the, the policy is coming from a very top high level. And we should be able to see some more details in the coming weeks. I want to get your take on uh, what you're making of uh, most of China's stimulus being focused on the supply side rather than the demand. Yeah, I think um, because the uh, supply side is easier to pump, you know, because once you release um, uh, credit and also, you know, not right now, uh, because most of the most of the entities who, who are borrowing from banks, are a, a large, very large SOEs, right? So if you want to stimulate your economy, it's much, much easier to you know, stimulate from the supply side. And then on the demand side, you know, even though just now you pointed out that it, there hasn't been any news on a, a consumption coupon front, but there has been, for example, uh, easing of uh, property purchase restriction, uh, lowering uh, uh, home loan uh, rates and all that, right? So mm -hmm. trying to help uh, consumers to recuperate. Uh, so it is not like you know we're not doing nothing, but it's just that you know it takes time uh, for the policies to show show effect. And also, you know, I think the the situation that we're confronted with right now, you know, it's not something that we're very familiar with. Yeah. Now you know the rest of the world uh, struggling to tame inflation. China is at risk of falling into a deflationary trap that could make it even harder to spark that much needed growth. So what are the top things that you feel China can do to stimulate growth? Yeah, I think um, if we can do consumption coupon, it would be great. But I think, you know, this idea has been vetoed uh, by the top, you know, or, you know, reason being, uh, it, it raised concerns about fairness, you know, a fairness of distribution of uh, welfare, you know, in a society uh, where only 86 million people are paying income tax, right? So for most of the people, we have no idea uh, what we, we have not uh, accurate, concrete ideas about, you know, how much they're making and all that. Right? So it makes the... Um, uh, uh, consumption coupon distribution much more difficult. Uh, and I think uh, uh, right now, you know, because uh, they have, they, there are so much um, excess savings in the Chinese banking system, so it's not that, you know, the Chinese consumers don't have the money to spend. It's really mm. they don't have the confidence to spend. That's interesting. Now, you know, China is also struggling with various factors like record youth unemployment, the, the ongoing uh, property crisis, and, of course, there's that trade spat uh, with the China, with the U.S., rather, uh, is it really all doom and gloom, or do you, in fact, see some bright spots on the horizon? Mm, it is not all doom and gloom. I mean, obviously, the uh, economic cycle, you know, is trying to bottom out, right? So, you know, in the first quarter, we did have sequential improvement in the economic growth and many, many other areas. I think in the second quarter, we continue to see some marginal improvement, but the pace 
and the momentum uh, seems to be decelerating. I mean, that's concerning, you know, because uh, you know what we thought is that you know going into the second quarter because of the very low base from last year, you know, we should be able to show you know very strong uh, GDP growth. But you know, instead, you know, we're not seeing a print nearly as high as what we expected, right? So that raised some concerns, and that is why policy now is in fast action. You know, you know, uh, the uh, different government agencies trying to roll out. Uh, uh, different policies targeting different areas of the economy. Uh, so, but, you know, once again, it takes time for the policy to show results. And also, you know, from a market perspective, we would like to see more detail, you know, some numbers attached, yeah. you know, to the policy, yeah. you know, saying, you know, how, how much the government is willing to spend. No, really appreciate you coming on board and uh, speaking with us. Uh, and uh, for your insights there, we want to thank uh, Hao Hong. He is the chief economist from Grow Investment. Great to be here.